is very important because this is about discernment. Do not base your opinion on what it looks like. It makes a lot of sense. But the fact is we do this all the time. We make our decisions about people based on their outward appearance. We make our decisions about people's gifting because of what we decide is good from what's not. It's a matter of taste for us. It's how we do it. That's why ice cream parlors have 30 different flavors, so that you can make your own mind up. That's why we like certain artists and dislike other artists. That's why politics has become all about popularity. Why? Because we, we want to choose. We want our own choice. We want to be able to decide. That's why there are 30 brands of cereal in the aisle. But when it comes to matters that pertain to the spirit of the living God, it is not our will and choice, it is his. Okay? Let's go really quickly to Leviticus 10. We're only going to look at the first three verses of that. That is some hard stuff. Leviticus chapter 10, 1 to 3. Leviticus chapter 10. Nadab and Abihu, the sons of Aaron. These are the sons of Aaron. Do you think they knew about the power of God? Moses is their uncle. Aaron's their father. These dudes have seen things which would blow our minds. And yet they still did not believe God. And the proof is there. They took them their censer and they put fire in it and put incense in it and offered strange fire before the Lord, which he commanded them not. And there went out from the Lord fire, which devoured them, and they died before the Lord. Verse 3, then Moses said unto Aaron, this is that the Lord spake, saying, I will be sanctified in them that come nigh me, and before all the people I will be glorified. And Aaron held his peace. My sons were burnt to a crisp by the Lord Most High, and I can't say anything about it. Because God is holy and righteous, and my sons did what they thought was expedient in the moment, and they paid for it with their lives. And I can't say a thing because God is right. God's right. And you can't say anything. And if you read through the chapter, God is saying, and you know what, y'all are in the holy place right now, and you're already sanctified, so you can't go outside or you're going to die. So now I can't tell my wife. And my other sons can't tell Nadab and Abihu's wives. Because we're in God's presence now. And God's presence is more important than anything else. Okay? So, so this is a very hard chapter to read. Because we want our rights. We want our rights. Okay? But God is right. And he's the only one right. So, it looked right. It was fire. It smelled right. It had incense in it. He looks good. He wears nice clothes. She does the right shout at the right time of the service. Don't be fooled by what things look like externally. 